Hello everybody, it's Victor here today with the review on uh, NECA's Aliens Series 1 Xenomorph Warrior. Uh, this series contains three figures. Three. You got the two marines and you got the brown colored warrior here going on. Uh, I didn't really care for the brown colors so I repainted mine. You know, I added some black wash to it to make it you know, more darker devious looking because I really didn't care for the brown on it. It was a little too heavy. Uh, if you can look online you'll see good pictures and but here's a quick reference. You can see like all brown compared to the more black which I think looks a lot better. Uh, this series does come with the let me say the two marines. And here's the picture on the back of the card if you want to take a quick look at that. And pause it and read that if you'd like. And there's the logo for the movie, the corridor, and the flooring. It's kind of greenish, looks like a night vision going on there. Now let's have a quick look at the figure here and some details on it, which it's very nicely done. We've got a very nice sculpt going on. All these grooves and indentations and wires and cables and just some silver highlights on the face the hands and that little brown going on there with the to add some of the shading to it and those little back spike things nice long tail going on there very long legs yes, little toes and no peg holes little made in china kind of thing going on in the bottom there All right that's out of the way. I can raise my camera just a little bit here. Alright, let's get to the articulation. Uh, his head does rotate left and right, except mine kind of springs back a little bit. I'm not too sure why or if it's really supposed to do that or if like mine's a little stuck. But yeah, he can look down and if you remove this little piece on the back, part of his spine thingy, he could look up, which is quite nice. He has a movable mouth. And on the inside, if you could get your fingers on it, he does have the little extra mouth that pops out of there, which I'm not a huge fan of. It doesn't, it's very lacking in detail. It's pretty much just like a solid thing with a little texture added to it just sticking out and a little silver paint for the teeth. Yeah, I could have used a lot more detail on there like the uh, older figures did had. So I pretty much just keep it inside, won't really show it too often. And you got like this little cable sticking out there. And you can see the back part of the spine. Just pegs in with a nice size peg there. So just pick right there and it's good as new. Now moving down to the back here, to his butt, you got a nice bendy wire tail. So you get some nice bendy action going on there. Now it goes to maybe about is it right here, the tip. This is just uh, rubbery. There's no bendy wire there, so you have to keep that in mind. Uh, let's see, he has shoulders on a like pin and ball, so you get full range of motion there and you got little you know, almost ratchety move, motion, uh, movement going on and he has a double jointed elbow it's like two balls one right there one right there you can move it like so so you get a good demo movement there and you got this little thing right here which isn't connected to the hand which I believe was done on the older figures so you get a lot more free movement out of the hands here, which is quite nice. And you also get like a nice ab crunch, so you can lean them back, you can lean them forward, back, forward, side to side, all the way around, like two hooping. And under that, you got a nice little the pelvic area or whatnot is uh, made of a rubbery, soft rubbery plastic, so that's really nice. So you can get a lot more movement out of the legs there. I get them side to side, 
front and back. Nice yeah, little twist there. And then as you move down, you get a double jointed knees, which is quite nice. You get a decent look at that very nice uh, knee bend. And below that, you get a nice little twisty here on the ankle. Uh, doesn't really move back and forth too much. It just feels like it's on a solid peg, so it can just turn around. But the toes do move up and down, so uh, that will make up for it a bit in the articulation area down there. <clears throat> so that pretty much covers the figure as a whole. So let's just stand him here best I can. Now he will have a bit of trouble standing because of his feet and this little thing is a little loose. So it does help to have the tail as slightly a support. So when you have that on the shelf, I'm gonna maybe do that, like bend the knees a little bit or whatnot. Alright, let's have a little size comparison with the Predator. Now the alien's legs are slightly bent, so he would be a little bit taller. He'd be a lot a bit more taller than the than he is right now to the Predator. Uh, he... What was I going to say? I don't remember. Oh yeah, he's like maybe roughly like 9 inches, I believe. The Predator's 8. So, yeah, you know, happy family reunion kind of thing going on there. Alright, so let's conclude this review here. Before I ramble on too much longer. Again, it's a nice figure. Um, I just had a few little quaffs with it. You had the... Uh, undetailed little mouthpiece that sticks out. Slightly weak ankles or feet that become flop forward. Now the paint was the brown paint was just a bit too heavy for my liking, so I repainted mine. So you know if you, I recommend you probably do that too if you think if you agree with me. The brownness is a little too heavy. But, okay, so aside from that, it's an amazing figure. This is Victor. Thanks for watching.